Hi, this is Vladan from ASX Virtualization Block. In this video, what we will do is we will upgrade our lab domain controller, which is running Windows Server 2012 R2, directly into the Windows 2016. We will choose data center with desktop experience. and we will keep personal files and apps we choose to check the upgrades and um, I'll explain why I'm doing this um, it is because it is one of the supported way from Microsoft to do in place upgrade also you might have a system which has a lot of software installed as well as the ID so you might want to use this way of upgrading that you do not have to reinstall your software and uh, do all the configuration uh, the installer checks actually what's compatible and what's not if you have some incompatible drivers you will have messages here we are doing the AD prep slash forest prep so first we are cd to the right uh, direction to the cd-rom drive which is e and then we need to validate with uh, pressing the c k on your keyboard to continue and it will do the forest upgrade and um, the next thing we need to do is ad prep slash domain prep which is uh, upgrade the domain level usually you would not proceed like this because uh, it's not really clean way of uh, upgrading because you bringing in all the old patches from Microsoft so all the it's not very clean in my opinion and I would avoid doing this usually what you would have done is to install clean Windows 16 20 2016 server put it as a member server then add domain services role to it and transfer your Active Directory to this host transfer the FSMO roles and then only you could uh, uninstall the AD services role and completely decommission the server from your Active Directory and you would have your new Windows 2016 server doing AD services which would be much cleaner than uh, the way I'm doing it now but this is mainly because I'm testing it for my own purposes and um, recording recording the the progress and the and the, the messages to see if there are any okay we need to connect via the VMware console because before we uh, were through RDP you can notice I'm using VMware workstation to connect to my lab remotely and uh, managing my vSphere 6.5 VMs and the same console of VMware workstation you can also have some local local VMs running on your local disks on the management workstation I'm connecting from so we can now log in to the server and um, we will check if our active directory is in place if there are any strange messages etc
okay we can log in now we can check our active directory oh, there is a message saying that classic shell was removed classic shell was uh, the start menu actually I was using on my 2012 R2 server because the start menu wasn't present in that time who knows why and our AD is in place as all the objects and everything we can check uh, some logs and also we can check the system whatever so everything is working everything is fine it took about a half an hour in the lab so thanks for watching bye bye